Craig at KootenyMoving.com. Thanks for watching. We're packing some china. I want to show you how to pack plates uh, as well as how to place them in the box. Okay, now that I've done that, now I'm going to take about six sheets of paper. And just like the butcher man wraps you up a nice big roast to send you home with, we're going to wrap these plates really tight. And when we set them in this box, we're going to set them in this way. Not this way, but this way. And now I'm just going to make another bundle of plates. Six sheets, I don't know, just enough so that when you wrap it tight, it's not going to rip. One sheet it would rip. Six sheets, I can really kind of manhandle it, get it really nice and tight. And again, down like that. Now, oh, okay, I'm going to pull that out for a second. Now, so my... So that's how tall it is in that box. So I'm going to ask myself, what else can I grab that's going to keep... So, check it out. Close enough. On its side. Fine. Serving dish. On its side. Close enough. So. That's how we're going to fill that first section of the box. Once we get those things in there, then we're going to take one little piece of paper at a time, crumple it up, and we're going to fill it all in so that when you shake that box, nothing is moving inside. It's all really well protected, and there's no sloshing around in that box. Then what we'll do is we'll put more crumpled paper on top, and we're going to start over again, but not with real heavy things. Maybe, um, maybe cups, maybe... Uh, you know, we're, we're going to have we're going to have a, a at least a foot. We probably maybe even go with stemware. That's what we'll do next. We're going to do stemware, and I'll show you how we're going to do that in a second. Thanks.